Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hola Duck and we are playing Mountain Blade Warband Viking Conquest Reforged Edition as Balder Thorgrimson. We're in the process of plundering a couple of monasteries. Uh, we're going to continue. We're going to plunder this over here. Kartach? Kartach? I don't really know how to say it. And then we're going to plunder Innis Enli. If you say it like that. And then we're going to return to uh, Norway and get this um, walrus ivory. Oi, what are you doing? It seems stuck here in the coast. Um, okay, spread my claim. Is there anyone else who can spread my claim? I think we have run through all my companions. Um, yes. 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 I think all my companions have been out to spread my claim. We're still awaiting some of them back. Find me a landing point. Yes, and we're even on the right side of the river. All my companions have been out to spread my claims. We are still waiting on some of them, but we are good to go on the right to rule um, side. We don't really need the right to rule that we get from marrying Sigrid, but um, it's great to have a wife in the game because you have you can have feasts and tournaments in your city, which will make um, the people in your city like you more, especially if you win the tournaments and um, can improve your relations with the lord. It's generally, you are a team here team with you and your and your wife and both do something to improve your political situation Oi, what is that seems like my mouse is acting up a bit Just try to kill off the stragglers to make this as fast as is possible. Oi! But I'm not doing a very good job. And I hit this guy in the back. Hope he survives. Some more monks to sell. That actually fulfills our compliment, our monk compliment. Did this. We've got a lot of money for it. Let's get back into the ships. Yeah, there's still some more um, places that I could hit up, but I guess we're going to take this one as well because it just is here so conveniently. Oh, it's a Viking long port. So I might sell my stuff. At least the stuff that can spoil. I'm going to do that. It's a very good thing that I can sell my things to them. It basically balances um, that I can't sell it to the um, cities over on Ireland. Um, yeah, I'm just going to sell everything. Although, I'm going to keep the cheese. The cheese is nice. Sell the silver, sell all that crap. So the wine, so the beef. Oh, that's all I can do. Okay, I'm going to keep the ember and sell the chicken. Cause um, although no, I'm going to sell the ember and going to keep something else like the honey, for example. Okay, very good. That was that. Let's go over here, have some fun with the looting. Um, find me a landing point. Um, and let's pillage the monastery. There are the ancient stones around here. Maybe I should go there and sell my prisoners. 
people at the ancient stones are doing some human sacrifices. That's why they need them. Would be kind of fitting to sell them the monks, people of another religion, to sacrifice. Although maybe they just don't care. I don't know. Go on, man. I haven't got all day. Loot me some monasteries. I love Mountain Blade to death, but it has some rather grindy elements. If I sometimes when I play for myself, I just listen to an audiobook, for example, Bernard Cornwall audiobooks about um, Uthred of Babenberg. That's pretty, pretty immersive. Because otherwise, uh, some of these um, more grindy elements can get on your nerves, that's for sure. I've uh, got some nice peningas for this. And that's going to be a feast in Jorvik. Okay. Should I sell my guys in the ancient stones? I don't think so. I think we're going to go home to Edinburgh. Although, no, we're just going to move over here and basically see if we cannot buy some walrus iron. We're going to start in Orkney and just ask in the villages if someone has something for us to buy. So severe weather has damaged our... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's not nice. That's the king trying to attack us okay yes 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 you're the greatest at least that's what he thinks um, I think later when we have started our own kingdom over here I'm going to leave my plundering fleet in the port of Dunbreton and start a second fleet over here in Edinburgh with troops in it so that I don't have to sail around Scotland every time. For now though, I can't use Dunbreton. What are you doing? Oh, no, you won't catch me. <laughs> the ships that I have are the fastest. So the enemies are having a hard time trying to catch me. Oh yeah, here yeah, that might also be a place where we can get some walrus ivory. We're pretty far up north now. I think this must be the Isle of Skye. Or is this the Isle of Skye? Yeah, this must be the Hebrides. So let's see. Um, belongs to Hesiod Torsten Olofsson. No, we can buy wine over here. Really? It strikes me as odd. I need the permission. Should I recruit someone over here? No, I don't think so. I'm just going to leave. Let's return to the ships. Cannot buy anything in these castles. Maybe we have more luck in Orkney. Oh, what was that? Konungrug Gudrod Ragnarsson. That is the kingdom of the kingdom of Lathland. Traveling to landing in this manor. Okay. Holy, holy cow! This is this whole host. Cool. Glad I didn't sail into a host of an enemy kingdom. And the Odin has been has been damaged. I wonder when my ship will be finished. Oh, hey, you. There is a tower for free passage here. Give me a thousand bucks and be gone. Find the landing point. Use the landing point. Let's see if we cannot buy some walrus ivory over here. Would have been would would have to be a pretty crazy coincidence to find two of it. Nope, that's nothing. Alright then, be that way. 
let's get back to the ships. And instead of going home, I think we're going to hit up um, the coast of Norway directly. It's just faster that way. I think that Norway is the easiest way to get the walrus ivory. I really don't know where I should get it otherwise. Some thieves. That's the problem with uh, starting in the Northland. Because basically um, there are only thieves and bandits and all, and all of those guys there to hunt if you're starting out. Hmm, some soapstone. Some iron. Incredibly cheap stuff. I'm going to buy that here just because it's so cheap. Can sell that for a lot of money. Um, let's meet up with the leader. Oh, he doesn't want me to recruit. Okay. Going to go back to my ships then. There's a Rogaland B. Is that really a thing that we should go in there? Um, maybe. It's pretty far inland. Uh, some veteran renegades. These are all the guys that you get over here, and they don't have a lot of good loot. The Vikings are, are your friend, so start in Ireland if you can. Um, more soapstone for really cheap prices. Tar for cheap prices. Not for, for cheap money. I want wine over here. They don't have the money to pay for it. Um... This place seems to be thriving, they say. Where's the village elder? I wonder if I'll ever be so desperate to move over here to Norway to actually try and um, recruit people. Looking for people who are willing to follow me. Okay, he wants to be bribed. Fine then. Okay. No way. I, I would have bribed him, but um, people that don't want to be bribed are pretty offended if you try to bribe them. So you um, have to find out how it is going. And the Kingdom of Gwynedd has a castle spell eye against us. Some more thieves. Let's see if Actir B gives us a Walrus Ivory. I'm really hard pressed for. No, wait, no, 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 no. Some hides. <sighs> it's a shame. I'm not going to try and get volunteers from here. I'll just press on. That doesn't look too good. Yeah, scaring Solder B, maybe. Maybe they can sell me something. Maybe the farm's dead. Wonder if I should hit that up. Some iron, some tar. This stuff is so cheap. And the timber is cheap too. And we're going to leave. It's a shame that you can't use these um, ship uh, docks in the scenery of the village. Can't actually use them. Uh, I don't think the farms that will really be of, of much help. Yeah, my hope is Tunsberg. Maybe I can buy stuff in Tunsberg itself. So let's trade with the locals and let's have a look at the goods merchant. Nope, no walrus ivory. That is bad. <laughs> that is really bad. I can sell the soapstone. 
and also the iron for pretty good prices. Going to keep the timber, sell the rest of the tar, sell the air, have the wine. Oh, they're paying, paying a lot of money for honey too. I wonder. Let's go to the meat hall. Yeah, ransom broker, so I can sell you my prisoners. So the monks are gone now. Wandering bard. No, I, I know all the poems he knows. I would like to meet a bard in, a bard in our own kingdom, just to see if someone is trying to pursue secret, because the bard will tell you. Yeah, I will meet Sigrid shortly. I really hope that Tons by East um, at least has some... some Boros Ivory. I'm really effed if I can't find one soon. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. <laughs> um, can I recruit here? Yes, I can. Okay. Come with me then. Well, I have to I have to try it in Denmark too. Twelve days still to finish. It's not impossible. I'm going to try tons by west. And if that doesn't work, I have to make my way to to Denmark. Some renegades over here. Recruit here? Yes, I can. Great. Let's buy supplies. Nope. Shite. That's not good. I'm going to buy the furs because they are cheap. Yeah, I'm going to hit up the farmstead. Maybe I can get something from here. Let's have a look. At least I'm on my horse here, so I won't have to walk all this way. Hey, you. Cheers. Um, what do you have for sale? So he has some wool. I'm going to buy the wool so we can commission another ship. We have all the stuff we need. Some tar, some timber, some wool. Um, but other than that, this is not helping me at all. I must take my leave. You can hire um, some idle farmhands once. Only once from these farmsteads. So that's it's not a lot of help. But it can help you out in the beginning of the game. And basically no one will follow you. These guys will... And these give you a couple of men, and they won't be very good, and they won't be won't be very well equipped. But at least they are men that you can do something with, like going plundering or something. So let's have a look at Vebjörg B. Hope they have something worthwhile. Mm. Not sure if you can hear the cat. Meowing in the background. She's upset about something. My party loses morale. Yeah, I've been pretty hard on people, I guess. Oh, amber. Can buy that for cheap. Some boar meat. Some wheat for basically nothing. Odd. Well. Nothing in here. Oh yeah, I need permission. I'm going to leave. Um, yeah, I could move to Skiffer B. So, let's get out of here. I have seen the Walrus Ivory in these places. 
So I know they must be here. Nothing though. Nothing. That's their king. Maybe we can hit up this place. Maybe they have something. Nope. Very expensive server though. Why would they sell server? It's basically money. Or maybe they sell it to goldsmiths. West Saxony is eager to make peace. They are on war at war on a lot of fronts. So I can well imagine that they want to get out of as many of them as they can. We're still on above average uh, morale. Right, move into move into port. Um, ooh. That is a nice looking ship. That is a busser. See the ships. Is this a boat for sale? It is made from oak, but it is rather expensive, I'd say. You get it you get it now, instead of having to wait. Um let's have a look at what the locals are selling. No, um, walrus ivory. <laughs> we are out of luck. We are really out of luck. Oh, we can sell the iron for a lot of money. And the soapstone. And even the furs. Sell the iron, sell all the iron. Good. And I'm going to sell the amber. But sadly, no walrus ivory. So I guess um, our bride-to-be has to live without it. <laughs> Let's have a look into the meat hall. Oh, some swear warriors. How's it going? Him and 14 for 6,000 Kaningas. Um, yeah, now I'm going to stick with the Northmen. But I guess I'm going to move into this place over here, Riva by South. There's no there's no need to return to Sigrid yet if we don't have what she wants. Can upgrade all these guys. I'm going to upgrade them to freeholders. Okay, so we we can sail. Although, I should repair my ships. Yeah. We're paying very little to repair our ships because I haven't <coughs> scrimped on the quality. Let's sail from port. Let's sail to Hulstad that be. Maybe we can get something in here. Find me landing point. Oi! Ooh, a lot of dudes over here. No, 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 we have no luck. Mm, I think we're too far in the south now to even have a proper chance at that. I mean, I could look into Dorestadt. How long is it going to be? Nine days. Hmm. I guess Babenberg might have that. I think we might go to Babenberg. Just on the on the off chance that they have it. Nope. I don't need more camp followers. I'm going to try Babenberg. And if they don't have it, I just don't know what to do. Can get some recruits out of here. Um, they have a lot of soapstone and a lot of ale. Maybe that's our own ale place. Although no, it isn't. 
It isn't. We have a Weaver in here. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look like um, Walrus Ivory is going to come to us. From this place at least. So I guess we're going to fail that quest. It's a shame, but what can you do? In any case, I'm going to end the episode here on this rather somber note. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode nonetheless, please give me a like if you didn't tell me why in the comments. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing. I hope you join me next time. I will try and look up where I can get Walrus Ivory um, between episodes and try to still fulfill the quest. Um, so yeah, I hope you join me for the next episode. Thanks and bye bye.